Good morning, everybody. I'm reading 1 Kings 19, verse 10. So Elijah said to the Lord, I have been very zealous for the Lord God of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord had met with Elijah on the Mount Horeb and had asked Elijah what he was doing there. We've just read Elijah's reply. He paints a grim picture of the state of the nation of Israel. Led by apostate king Ahab, the Israelites had forsaken the covenant of God and become idolaters. Not content with just going their own way, they were actively opposing and severely persecuting any who still worshipped the Lord. Ahab's wife Jezebel, for example, had been massacring the Lord's prophets. Elijah believed he was the only faithful servant of Yahweh left. He made that statement twice in this passage in verse 10 and verse 14. But he was wrong. The Lord replied to Elijah, saying, I have reserved 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth that has not kissed him. Besides Elijah, there were 7,000 more faithful souls. And yet Elijah didn't know of the existence of a single one of them. How can that be? Surely the most likely explanation is that they were cowering away in fear. They were hiding. They had not compromised. But the oppression in Israel was so great, they dared not speak out publicly, or perhaps even privately, of their faith. What difference might it have made to the history of Israel if they'd had courage and boldness to speak out? We don't know. But we do know that just on his own, Elijah had an astonishing impact. Standing by himself, he had faced off 850 prophets of Baal and Asherah on Mount Carmel, the fire of God had fallen from heaven, and the people had cried out, The Lord, he is God! The Lord, he is God! The prophets of Baal had been executed. Sadly, the revival was short-lived. Almost immediately after this, Elijah was running for his life, which is why we met him speaking with the Lord on Mount Carmel, on Mount Horeb, sorry, in today's reading. What would have happened if some dozens or hundreds or thousands of the Lord's remnant had courageously stood with Elijah? Again, we don't know. But we do know what did happen. Israel continued in grotesque wickedness and idolatry. I find these thoughts tremendously challenging as our days become darker and darker. May each one of us be prepared to speak boldly for the Lord whenever we are called upon to do that by him. Like Elijah, may we stand before the Lord who lives and receive our instructions from him and not allow ourselves to be paralyzed with fear. Amen. Have a great day.